Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. Hope you're doing good. We're gonna pull past, present, future for you and um, let's get started. So Capricorn, I invite your spirit team and your angels to join as we get messages it's for your highest good. If you need a private reading, just contact me through the description box below. There will be information on how, and I'll give you a private reading. So we've got present and we got future. Nice. Oh, imagine soulmates, present energy, and exchanging gifts for the past. So this is the wisdom of the oracle. The exchanging gifts might be the six of pentacle, like helping somebody out and not expecting anything in return. Um, or just exchanging gifts with people, helping. Um, kindness. 41 soulmates. This is obviously somebody who's come into your life for um, a specific purpose. They're... Um, Maybe they do have the key to your heart like this little penguin does. Cute. Soulmates. And then imagine is about all of the possibilities. It's the creating on that, um, you know, the first level. Making your thought forms. Visualizing. And um, really being open to infinite possibilities. Tell me about exchanging gifts. Tell me about the past energy. The star. Nice. It's about um, not just a gift, but a wish granted, too. Um, something fulfilled for you that you maybe you've wanted for a long time. Tell me about soulmates. The seven of wands, standing up for and standing your ground. Make sure to stand your ground. Yeah, and I mean, and so maybe it's like you're, you're standing up for fighting for this. Whatever these soulmates mean for you. Tell me about Imagine. I think it's that one. The High Priestess. Okay, this might be a furthering of your spiritual gifts and abilities. Nice, with a Hierophant down here too. So... You know, you can have the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. The High Priestess might be talking about referring to secrets, talents, spiritual gifts, and abilities, really tapping into your intuition, but also like having a knowing, just having a deep knowing that something is right or what the answer or what the solution is and maybe it's saying to insert a little imagination and then it's going to help with these abilities or clear abilities underneath it all there's something that's really um very traditional with the hierophant Or a commitment, or talking about Taurus energy, very committed to something, and standing your ground. Tell me about the star. Tell me about exchanging gifts and the star. The High Priestess. Wow. The High Priestess has shown up twice now in your reading. This is the just knowing. Um... Past energy could really, like I said, having the spotlight on some kind of hope granted, some kind of wish fulfilled. Um, the star, the high priestess, abilities, intuition, two high priestess. It's about the yin energy. It's about receiving maybe psychic messages. Telepathy. Tell me about Seven of Wands. Ooh, nice. So you are on um, 
a new cycle. Maybe you can feel it. Maybe you could feel it before it was coming. And has the wheel of fortune here as being in the present situation, meaning that there is something that's turning in your favor or for your favor, in your favor. Um, feeling like you are the fortunate one or knowing that you are a fortunate one when this uh, card comes out like this. Really good. Compared to some of the readings I've had lately, this is a good one. This is a good one. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Knowing what to um, fight for here. Tell me about High Priestess. Tell me about High Priestess. Um, we have the Empress energy possibly procrastinating. So there's something that could be built or that needs to be built upon. There's many different possibilities. Getting the Empress energy to focus here on whatever it is to create is kind of like maybe the issue. Or feeling like, I mean, it depends on where this energy is, but you could be feeling like somebody's a little selfish. Yeah, especially with this. So the Queen of Wands here is, this is the Queen of Wands that's like really more interested in the plants at their home. And uh, and you got the card of the uh, Queen of Swords that's interested more, not in making logical decisions, but kind of interested in looking at the mirror. <laughs> Self-centered, a little bit vain, maybe, with these energies. <laughs> The, all three of those is what this is um, hinting to. Maybe this is saying, yeah, you need to treat yourself. Possibly. Possibly. So some kind of new cycle is going to turn. You may feel a little undecided at the moment. Tell me more about this character, this person right here, or who this is representing, or what it's representing. It's representing the moon energy. It's representing the Divine Feminine energy. It's um, the power of the moon, which is very powerful, but subtle energy. Um, it's representing somebody that's being very cautious and going one little baby step at a time. It's also associated with Pisces, and we also have um, a lot of intuition and maybe even psychic hits coming in with this moon. Hmm. So you, what is your intuition telling you? It's telling you these things about this situation or this person. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands. So you standing up for whatever it is that you st stand up for, it's bringing in a, a victory with that Six of Wands. So bringing in a victory because of not ever letting... Not ever um, standing down. Tell me more about this. Um, apparently, a victory. It's like the it's the spot, the mile marker that says, "Hey, if you need a reassurance, this is others reassuring you too that you've done a good a good job, and it's recognition for quite a commitment, job done." Job well done. Um, and there's the universe card. That's nice. See, so it's time for there to be a new chapter. Um, and this is something that you've been hoping for, that you've been wanting. Um, the universe is indicating not only a completion, but like an elevation to whatever else it is that you're about to experience for yourself and others. And it's a move where you're just going to know that this time something good is good is definitely faded um for you 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 will succeed like you're already it's mapped in the stars you are going to succeed <clears throat> ace of pentacles yay there's um like i say this is a wonderful new opportunity don't pass it by don't pass this opportunity make sure that you're paying attention around you um, because there's going to be some kind of money opportunity or standing up for um, some kind of big opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles.
Give me something else with the Ace of Pentacles. So it feels like this is like an unseen victory. It's going to be a really nice victory for you here. That's nice to get a tarot reading and say there's an unseen victory. That's true. And there's a good luck and the Ace of Pentacles is a good reading. Two of Wands, um, Dominion, Focus. Focus so much on what you want that your plans and everything comes to fruition. It's the inspiration. It's the planning of everything, too. It's rising um, up and kind of aligning with your highest self. Making your own rules, possibly. The Emperor in Reverse. Maybe a slight power struggle. But you're the author, and I think like you know that. Um, the Knight of Swords. Big change coming in. Possibly regarding who has the authority or the authority on something. The King of Cups. Time to start making decision, decisions in a loving manner. For the good of everybody. Everybody's um, due for a better cycle and a new chapter. There's more possibilities and you will see these paths and possibilities coming up. Yeah, it is a whole it's nothing but hopeful new advent new beginnings, hopeful new beginnings here with the page of cups. Wow, towards your 10 of cups, which is emotional completion, fulfillment. <laughs> it is um it says lord of perfected success. How can you get any better than that? You really can't. <laughs> That's excellent. Let's get uh, something from the shaman stream, and then I'm going to wrap up the reading. Thanks for joining me. All right. My messages for Capricorn. I have 59 Wailing Tree Reconcile Reconcilations. Watchers, transpersonal. Oh, look, it's ascending 59 and 60. And 16, you got this last time on the um, bottom of the deck. 16 is empty well, time to replenish. Come back to the uh, home of the heart. Maybe a time out or time for stillness and quiet is um, overdue. So, 59 here um, to reconcile. Grief and mourning, a time of um, loss, but it's also a time of saying that it's neither good nor bad. It is just this experience. Um, these things, too, pass. So, this was the past. And then we have the Sixters. Six, sixters. Sixty. The Watchers. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. I've done a lot of these today. Serendipity, the observer, the witness, transpersonal. Um, it says the watchers invite you to break free from the linear causal plane of the petty day to day and rise to divine coincidence, serendipity. Notice how um, seeing the heart of the matter produces the results. Nice. And then 16 is um, says, time to replenish. Do not diminish yourself for another. Do not exert your energy and waste your resources here. There is a new watercourse way for you to find and refill. So, and then the heart home, compassion, love in its truest form, compassion. It's imperative you heed its call, lest the universe orchestrate a way for you to back, come back to yourself. Um, says there's no need to forgive anyone for anything um this spiritual truth it is only belief in a story that makes things so powerful put everything on hold for a minute and experience unconditional love yep that's what i got so sending you love and light thanks for joining me capricorn Bye bye